Hello, I'm Dr. Eugene Corbett from the Department of Internal Medicine here at the University of Virginia. Uh, I'm here today to uh, participate in a history and physical examination with a standardized patient. Uh, we haven't met before, but the purpose of this is to provide an opportunity for, to you, for you to observe how a physician might perform a complete history and physical examination on a patient who's new to them. Mr. Murray, I'm Dr. Corbett. Nice, nice to meet you. Yes, sir. Nice Corbett. to meet you. Yeah. First time we've met. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So I understand you made an, ex uh, an appointment for an examination. Yes, correct. Uh, and we're going to a complete physical examination. I understand. Yes. And I'm going to ask you about why you came into that. But we mind if I take a few notes just in case. No, that'd be fine. In case you got lots to tell me, I yeah. don't want to yeah. miss too much. That'll that be okay? fine. Good. Good. So you made an appointment for an exam. Uh, when's the last time you had a physical examination? Uh, probably two years ago. Two years ago. Yeah. Well, let me tell me why you made this one. Well, I had these uh, chronic headaches going on mm. that I've had for about three months now, and they're just not getting any better. And I want to mm. see if there's something we can do about it. Mm. So, when you say chronic, you're referring to the fact that they've just been steady for three months, or they've been longer than that? Well, it started three months ago, mm. um, and they're like every other day or so, and mm. now I'm having them every day. And so you have no days when you don't have a headache? I have a headache every day. Mm -hmm. But at the beginning, it didn't seem to be quite as noticeable no. then for you, huh? No. Des describe the headaches. Where are they and what do they, what do they feel like? Um, they start at the back of my head here, mm -hmm. and they kind of come up around my temples, I guess you call mm -hmm. it, and mm -hmm. into the front of my head. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Sometimes they're throbbing. Mm -hmm. and, you mm -hmm. know, other times they're not quite as bad. Yeah. Um, hmm. So it's both sides of your, yes. it starts in the back and comes up the front. Correct. Do you have a headache all the time, or does it just come in episodes? Um, well, I have a headache all the time until I take something, mm -hmm. I, I take Advil and Tylenol mm -hmm. that seem to help it, and that eases it up. Is it ever gone? Um, not is it always something there? There's always something there. I always yeah. know it's there. It's mm -hmm. just the intensity of it. I see. Can you tell me a little bit more about what you notice? For example, when is it the worst? At night, in the morning, or does it make a difference? Um, well, it, it doesn't make a whole lot of difference. When I don't get enough sleep, mm -hmm. it's really bad. Mm -hmm. um, if I move my head in a certain way, or if I strain or stretch my head in a certain way, mm -hmm. it seems like to what, be Like what worse. way? Can you show me that? If I, if I go like, you know, to the, to the back, or mm -hmm. if I, even if I'm you know, bending over, Mm -hmm. um, just mm -hmm. any any exaggerated moves. Any exaggerated move makes yeah, it seems worse. to make it yeah. worse. Um, yeah. And if I don't take the Advil and the Tylenol, it, mm -hmm. it, it seems to be worse. It makes it worse too. I see. So this three months ago it started. It's mm -hmm. both sides. It's in the back, and you can make it worse if you either extend or yes. what, lean forward for too long. Is yes. Any idea? any just I call them exaggerated head movements. Yeah. What happens when you're lying down? Um, does that ease it or make it worse? I, I think that makes it eases it some. It does. You know, especially if I can get some sleep. I see. It seems to ease it up. Some. So the act of lying down and sleeping is, doesn't make it worse. No, I it makes say. it better. Maybe. Yes. I see. I see. Uh, and uh, does this does it change based on if you're eating, for example? No. Um, you know, Does just, eating make it worse or better? No, eating doesn't seem to. So having a full stomach doesn't doesn't no. seem to bother it at all. Uh -huh. either, huh? How about if you're concentrating? Is when you're driving, um, or something, or reading? No, it doesn't make it worse. Except when it's really bad, I have mm -hmm. a hard time focusing. Okay, you yeah, know. that's helpful. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Does it ever seem to be more one side than the other? No, it always seems to come up and be just it kind of like meets in the middle. Meets in the middle, huh? Starts in the back, yes. goes around, meets, in, meets the in the middle, like a tight band. Yep. Yeah, yeah. And the part that's always there is what? In the back or all over? I would say in the back. In the back yeah. there too. Yeah. It always starts yeah. in the back. I got rear-ended in a, a car accident, and I can remember um, my neck got jerked. Mm -hmm. And um, I had a sore neck for a couple days, and then the headache started shortly after that. So that accident started this thing off? That's when it all so started. So you had no headache before this? No, I had no... That's helpful. No previous headaches. So somebody ha tell me about that. How, <clears throat> how fast were you or were they going? Well, it wasn't very fast. It was in a parking lot. Mm. And I was backing out and somebody else was backing out. 
the other way, and we met. And I just remember that jerk of my head. Gotcha. And um, having a stiff, sore neck. So both cars days. couldn't have been going more than start up. Yeah. Okay. Five miles gotcha. an hour or something like that. Did you strike your head when that happened? No. Did I you did. recall? Not, not that I recall. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just remember it kind of being, I guess they call it whiplash. Mm -hmm. Did you get out of the car right away? Um, no, I sat there for a few minutes and then I got out of the Did car. You? It startled Did me. You? Did you? Yeah. Then you said the headache started after that. How long after the actual accident did the headache start? Three or four days after. So it wasn't right away. There wasn't was a little right bit away. of a warm up. Yeah. There was a kind of an interval in there where you yes. felt fine. I see. Did you think that you had hurt yourself? Um, I didn't think I really had hurt myself. I mm -hmm. didn't, you know, mm -hmm. I, I felt startled and. Mm -hmm. Just kind of shaken, but I didn't feel like I was really injured. But didn't okay. I didn't go to the hospital or anything like that. Yeah. Have you? Uh, and you said you take some things for what? What actually helps it? What do you? Uh, Tylenol and Advil. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I take. Uh, I guess it's. How much do you take? I take a lot. I take sixteen Advils, four tabs, four times a day. Wow. And I take. Self-prescribed. Yes two Tylenols four times a day. So I'm taking... Eight Tylenol and 16... 24 pills a day. Oh, wow. I take it you warmed up to that, that you weren't using right. that? Right. I started out oh, with I less see. and it wasn't working, so I just I kept see. adding to it. And it, it does give me some relief. It's a lot of medication. It doesn't, yeah, it seems like too much. That's one does of that, the reasons I came to see you. Good for you, yeah. Does that mean it just keeps getting worse? Um, the headaches just kept getting worse mm -hmm. in the severity of them, yes. Yeah. That's a lot of medication. Yes. Did, before you had this accident, did you use those medications much, if at all? No, very no. seldom. No, never had to take that kind of thing with no. any regularity at all? No. Okay. okay. Uh, I need to know, too, what else do you experience? Anything else? Does this make your body feel different or painful or um, uncomfortable in any it, way? It, it makes you feel stressed. Mm -hmm. I feel stressful mm -hmm. with it. Mm -hmm. um, I can't sleep well. Mm -hmm. um, I just, it's uncomfortable. Yeah. It's just yeah. kind of a nagging mm -hmm. thing that's there all the time. Gotcha. Does it bother your shoulders, your arms? You feel mm -hmm. anything down here? No. No. Strength? Pretty good. Tingling? No. Okay. No. Not really. How about just being able to use your arms in normal motion? Yeah. I, that's I, not I, disturbed at all? No, that's fine. I see. That's fine. I see. Wow, so you had an accident, took a couple of days for this thing to get to you, three or four days, mm -hmm. but then it started bothering you and persist, and now almost has this stubborn worsening. Is that what I'm... Daily. 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 What, and what kind of work do you do? Uh, I work in a car dealership. I'm a service manager. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So what's the, has this had an impact on your ability to just do your normal <clears throat> stuff? Well, again, it, it has in that it just, it's, it's uncomfortable, it's... Mm -hmm. it, I feel stressed because of it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, I'm able to do my job. Um, I so like my job. you can do your work. You're not, yeah, have I'm, you missed any days from work? Um, I think I missed two days in the beginning, but I've mm -hmm. been mm -hmm. at work since then. I'm, I'm able to go to work, but I make sure I have my Advil mm -hmm. and Tylenol with me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, other, well, than, yeah, other than that, I'm, I'm working okay. You sound like okay. a great employee to me. To work through this kind of thing is pretty difficult. Well, I, I like what I do. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. I work on mm -hmm. vintage cars on the side. I um, see. I see. Yeah. So I okay. try to make it. You know, I have a sense of what you're telling me. What's been your What's your diagnosis? I don't know if I did something to um, my spinal column back there. Mm -hmm. the, mm -hmm. um, I don't know what you guys call it, but I, something happened when I got mm -hmm. hit. Mm -hmm. Is what I think. A jerk did something. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, I, other than that, Changed I don't really don't yeah. know what it is. And, but you're fairly sure there was a couple of days in there where the, it, it wasn't obvious to you that there was anything wrong? Other than it just being sore. Okay. It was right. sore and, and stiff, but the headaches didn't start, like I said, until about three or four days later. So there was some discomfort yes, right away. That, but you would call it more a soreness or stiffness yes. than an actual headache that, like you're right. having now. Okay. Right. Gotcha. Yeah. I need to know a few more things. Okay. about the effect of this on you. How's your sleeping? Do you sleep okay? No, I don't sleep well at all. Why not? Um, the headache, it, the, the discomfort. It's hard to mm -hmm. get to sleep. Um, mm -hmm. I sometimes can get to sleep and then the headache wakes me up. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. So my sleep patterns have been totally so that's disrupted. So how much sleep are you getting at night compared to what you'd like to get? Well, I used to sleep the night through which was probably at least eight hours. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I'm probably up three and four times a night now. Wow, and how long has that 
I would call it a sleep deficit. How long has that been going on? Uh, well, this happened three months ago, probably two and a half months now, mm -hmm. because it, okay. it wasn't as bad in the beginning, but mm -hmm. they did just get worse. Yeah. Did you consult with anybody else, or even just toughen this out on your own? Just been Pretty toughing much. it out on my own and yeah. trying okay. to, hoping it will go away, mm -hmm. but it's, mm -hmm. it's just getting worse. But you have been able to do your work, think, use your hands. Yes. Nothing, yeah. nothing disturbed in that way. Huh? No. Gotcha. Anybody else know? Did your wife? Are you married? Yes, I am. You've been yes. talking to your wife about this. She, she certainly knows.